According to the bill, the surcharge tax will be levied from any individual, partnership or company whose taxable income calculated in accordance with the provisions of the Inland Revenue Act No. 24 of 2017 exceeds 2 billion rupees for the year of assessment commencing on 1st of April 2020 at the rate of 25%. According to the definition of the Inland Revenue Act, a company is included in the definition of a provident fund, a pension fund, a pension gratuity fund or a similar fund. Parliamentarian Dr. Harsha De Silva stated that this bill will pave the way for 25% surcharge tax to be levied on multiple funds, including the EPF. Other Mudalamatians, Gasataka Galatino, super gains tax, Vidividana. The Ministry of Finance has issued a gazette today elaborating parameters of the super gains tax. It states if any company earns profits in excess of 2 billion rupees, a 25% of it must be paid to the government. For the first time in history, the EPF has also been included in the list of companies. According to the Companies Act, provident funds are also included. This is such a shameful act by the government. They are targeting the profits enjoyed by a fund that is supported by the working class, imposing a whopping 25% tax. EPF is the largest fund in Sri Lanka with a value worth over 3 trillion. In 2020, its profits was around 250 billion rupees. Around 65 billion rupees will be charged as tax. Last week, they commenced the 100,000 projects initiative to distribute money to local authorities to commence work in preparation for the elections. That is probably how they plan to finance that initiative through taxing the fund. This is indeed an immoral act. No government has done such a thing to the working class.